plaintiff, Lakeisha Bowers, dated the defendant for nearly four years, but they were off and on because he was moody. Lakeisha claims they have a five-month-old baby, but the defendant denies that he's the father, so she petitioned the court for a DNA test. Defendant Sterling Watson admits that he has doubts about fathering Lakeisha's baby, but insists it's because they weren't having sex when the baby was conceived. So why don't we begin with you? Well, today I'm here, uh, Your Honor, petitioning uh, Sterling Watson for a uh, fraternity test um, because he keeps denying our five-month-old daughter adorable. Um, here's some pictures of her. Five months? Yeah. Okay, give me some background on your relationship. Um, um, uh, I met Sterling here in 2016, in the summertime of 2016. You know, he seemed like a nice guy. He was charming at first, you know, good person. Seemed like he was a good person. So we ended up switching numbers or whatever. And eventually we started uh, getting up with each other. No relationships, just relations. You know, trying to do something different because he didn't know me and I didn't know him like that. So eventually our relationship started picking up. We was like the Remy Papoos on the block. The new Remy Papoos on the block. And how was the relationship once you all became closer? Uh, it was kind of good, but like in the middle of the year or something, I started seeing him get moody or he had changed with, you know, switch up. And that's when I started having a problem, start seeing little red flags, but. Why do you think that developed uh, after you got into the relationship or was it always there and you overlooked it or you, it was always there and you accepted it, but as time wore on, you said, okay. Nah, uh, it was more like. going you, on here. And you don't know nobody until you get the chest to know them and meet them. And that's what kind of had happened. So the first red, red flag went up, you mm -hmm. know, and I thought maybe he was going through something because I'm not a judgmental type of person. So I'm like, well, let me kind of fall back a little to see if he's going through something. That way he can get himself together. And we ready to come back around that I'd be available mm -hmm. if I'm still available. Good, that's a good way right. to look at it. Right. It'd be like for eight months straight, he'd be all right. And then the next four months, again, it became a pattern. And with the mood swings, were the, the outbursts? Swings as part of that, or he become enraged or real angry? Not and, real enraged, it's more to himself. Outburst it's more of himself. It's more of himself. Okay. Himself, yeah, not with people. Sounds more like with. depression. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. so like I said, I try to understand them, not judge them, you know Good. what I mean? All right, and you did try and discuss uh, his behavior, with and uh, as you're pretty much telling me, because yes, I like what I hear. The eight months of oh, things like going really well, abuse. and then he kind of falls off. But as long as he's not physically abusing you or verbally abusing you, that's when it's time to go and get a, some therapy. Is when you get verbally or physically abusive. But it's smart if people feel that um, I don't feel like being bothered, so let me just step away. So folks, when you're depressed like that and you feel like withdrawn, just be safe with yourself and make sure others keep you safe. Plaintiff Lakeisha Bowers says she has a five-month-old baby with the defendant, but he has doubts about being the father, so she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Sir, why don't you give me a little background, then we'll get back to the specifics of the paternity. I don't know how, uh, how it happened, really. We just, uh, we met. And um, uh, how many years did you all date? Three and a half, almost four. What you say? I mean, I say it wasn't really dating. I we it wasn't it wasn't it didn't start out like that. It just it was just a. Like did it a, become dating? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I guess so. Just you know. So you all never spent every day together or anything. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it was it was more like a, a bond than, you know. Okay, then you bond with people that you date. Um, yeah, I guess. Let me ask about the mood swings she's referring to. You want to say anything about that? No. Okay. Um, so tell me about the uh, paternity here. Um, the reason for the paternity, like I said, because I'm tired of him going around disrespecting me and my daughter and calling her this alien baby to my friends. When Tell they me to... what makes you think or how you are convinced he's the father, because obviously he's not Because I ain't not been with convinced. nobody. You know, I've been 
That's why. But I'm tell just... me when you were when you conceive. When last uh, time you were with somebody okay. before him, you got it. Okay, no, I wasn't. He's gonna tell you what he's gonna tell me. He's gonna tell me you had two, three guys around during that time that you were dealing with, and so he don't know whether it's him or one of those other guys you were dealing with. Time. So that's what I need to hear, ma'am. I'm telling you what he's gonna say. You should have known it by now. I'm sure he's told you why he doesn't believe. What is he? He's never told you why he don't believe the child is his. No, he has never said that. No, sir. Have you ever asked him why yes, don't sir. you believe? And he just. Yes, sir. He doesn't say anything. Yes, sir. Good enough. Um, You've never said anything? Yeah. Okay. And what do you say? Why don't you believe the child is yours? What would you tell her? Oh, uh, I wasn't, um, I wasn't having sex when the child was conceived. Okay. You told her that. Right. Yes. You, know, you never heard that? No. This is the first time he's told you why he doesn't believe that the child is his. And he never told you anything else. You've asked, why don't you think the baby is yours? The baby is yours. He said, get that baby out of my face. That's not my baby. That's, that's an alien baby. That's what he said. An alien? An alien. Okay, well, there it is. When did you conceive the child to your knowledge? Um, when I came back from New York, August the 5th, Sterling came and picked me up from the train station. That's when you believe you got pregnant, the beginning, sometime in the beginning of August? Uh, yes, it was in August. The All beginning right. Of August. And when is the last guy you had been with prior to nobody. that? Nobody. Okay, nobody prior to August. Sir, what do you want to say? She says she believes the child is yours because she hadn't been with anyone prior to that. And yet you say she alleges uh, that the baby is alien, so. <laughs> That's what she says you told. That's what she says you told her, sir. No comment. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. She said it was an alien, and now you have no comment. So maybe the other guy was the alien, a male. <laughs> That's what he I meant. saw the five thousand. That's what he meant. Two-headed alien. Guys, <laughs> that's who you believe impregnated her. You just need to stop, sir. You don't have anything reasonable to say about this that makes sense. You don't have anything sensible. This is your child, so you know this is your baby. I can tell the way you acted. You mad because you got to pay child support. You work? On and off with our job. That's somebody who don't want to pay child That's support. Right, yeah, when you hear that on and off, I don't want to lock myself into one job because this year will go to the state and they'll garnish my check from that job. So I cut job. grass. I do this. I do that. <laughs> Man, please. You get paid every week in cash. Who are you kidding? All right, at least you work. I get that impression as well. But I get the impression you, like a lot of young people, don't make enough to want to meet your responsibilities, and let's go see okay. who are the parents. Plaintiff Lakeisha Bowers says she has a five-month-old baby with the defendant, but he has doubts about being the father, so she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Let's go see who are the parents, and uh, you think it is, and he says it's aliens. Right. So I've heard. <laughs> All right. Alien Watson is the father. Oh, man. You the alien. You the alien. Okay. Alien Thank you. Watson. Thank you. Congratulations. You can be the father as you want to be, as you should be, and the type of father I'm sure you want to be. Have a good day. Yeah. Good to hear that. You have it. Still don't believe it. You got a whole DNA test. You still talking about Why didn't you say that we was in front of Judge Mathis? See? Stop playing. Uh, hopefully, Starter can get his mind together and step up and be who she need him to be for her. Come on. <laughs> Hey, mama. Hey, who you stinky about? Look at your cat. You the daddy. You the poppy. You the poppy. Get your puppy. Hey, thank you. That's your daddy. I told you that. Sorry we have to come here for all of this, you know. 